Everybody, Harmon Vlogs here. Today's video entails probably one of the most saddest and most interesting stories um, about a town I've ever heard of. This town in Oklahoma is the most toxic uh, abandoned ghost town in the United States. It reminds me of Chernobyl because I have been to Chernobyl. Instead of tons of radiation everywhere, uh, tons of lead and zinc. So this particular town, it is called Pitcher. Pitcher, uh, Oklahoma, started as a town um, around 1918 and was named after O.S. Pitcher, who was uh, the owner of a lead company, started to mine for lead and zinc in the town. During that time frame, um, there were thousands and thousands of people that lived here in the town, um, thousands of workers that were working in the mines. They produced zinc and lead here in the town from about 1918 to around 1967. More than 50% of the lead that was produced um, was used during World War I. So they used a ton of lead um, from this particular mine here in Pitcher, Oklahoma. Now what made Pitcher to become an abandoned ghost town was due to the fact that after producing so much lead, they had piles and piles of what is called chat. And chat is basically the byproduct of lead. Unfortunately, the people in the town, they didn't know that the chat was extremely toxic and dangerous um, because it um, straight up lead poisoning if you inhale it or if you um, touch it or anything. Um, so it was really, really dangerous. Um, and many of the town folk did not know that at all. So they were playing on the chat piles. They even put chat in uh, a lot of their kids' playgrounds and sandboxes and stuff because they didn't know it was that dangerous. I think uh, around 1996, a teacher noticed that a lot of his students were... Um, just not normal they were just it seemed like they weren't learning very well and he's, he just had this um, assumption that maybe there's something wrong like lead poisoning or something he just had this strong suspicion so he ended up having all the kids tested for lead poisoning and all the kids in the town had extremely high dosages of lead poisoning in their systems 
And after that point forward, they realized that the chat that they had all around towns in huge piles, the chat that they put in their kids' playgrounds was really, really bad. Around 2006 or so, they really tried to clean up the town, um, but it was so toxic, they just, they just, they couldn't clean it up and they just had to basically get all the residents to leave um, for their own safety. So majority of the residents here left in 2009. To this day, there's not really many residents left. Um, I just driving through town here, there's only, it looks like two real buildings that are being used at this point. So it seems like all these uh, abandoned apartments or houses or whatever were like a like dual dual apartments or condos or something because there's it's like one building but it's like split in half it's like a concrete wall in the middle. Uh, but anyway, all 20 or 25 of these or whatever, um, they're all identical um, and they're all like nothing left really in them at all. Um, it reminds me of. The fake cities they built like in Nevada or something for their nuclear bomb testing or whatever. Or if you play Call of Duty, um, the map called Nuketown. Um, that is exactly what this reminds me of. It's like 25 or so identical style houses um, left abandoned. Um, it's just, it's amazing.
Hello? All right guys, so right next to me is one of the dozens of piles of chat. And again, chat is the byproduct of lead. And that is what can cause lead poisoning. And that's exactly what happens um, with the kids and the people of the town. So before they knew it was bad, they would climb up these piles like it was just like a sand dune. But this particular pile in front of me is giant. I mean, it's gotta be, oh, I don't even know, like 200 feet tall and probably like a football field or more like long. Don't let this fool you. This is not just a giant pile of sand. This stuff, if I jumped into this stuff, even with a mask, I'm sure I'd get lead poisoning. Well, that's creepy.
I hope you guys enjoyed all the houses, trailers, all these different abandoned buildings in this crazy abandoned toxic town. It was probably the most interesting um, place I've ever been. Um, amazing but tragic, definitely tragic. All the kids getting poisoned, parents getting poisoned um, by all the lead and the fact that none of them knew about it, it's just terrible. And they all had to leave, you know, they had a lot of a lot of blondies in the houses they just they couldn't bring with them or they just didn't have time to so um, feel free to share this video with others and uh definitely subscribe because there's a lot more stuff coming up anyway i'll see you guys in a little bit in a few days thanks for watching and as always live explore and travel